Well, hello everyone. My name is Dawn Duvall. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today is August, oh my gosh, I think it's the 3rd of 2023. And I wanted to take a moment and do a quick video to show you uh, one of our kits. Uh, during the month of August, Stampin' Up! is running a sale of all of the majority of our kits, with the exception of a few, are on sale up to 30% off. And I wanted to take the time and show you one of the kits, which is our uh, Forever Friends kit and show you what the cards um, are supposed to look like and then I'm go going to show you four different alternative cards that you can do uh, using this kit which will help you um, increase the number of cards that you would receive. Alright, so with that being said, I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what's in the kit, so let me go ahead and flip my camera over to the next screen. Okay, so the for, the, fence, the Friends Forever kit, can't speak, um, is designed to make uh, eight cards. And this is what the cards are, are supposed to look like. You've got four card bases that are uh, a dark green like an old olive with this uh, shiny on uh, lines and stuff on the front. They've got coordinating envelopes. And then the second four are a real pale yellow card base that's got some little polka dots and then these cards are already uh, in the kit but you're going to stamp over them to make the flowers with our knight of navy so you're going to add the color of that uh, as well as the colors of these little tiny flowers right there and then the twine comes in the kit as well uh, you'll get you'll also get a package of strips of dimensionals you're going to receive uh, one roll, which I have two here, but you'll receive a roll of Calypso Coral. And then you're also going to receive a uh, ink spot of Knight of Navy. And this is just a smaller version. I'm going to be working with the large one. It's just easier for me when I'm doing uh, demonstrations. You will receive a clear block. And once you purchase um, a, a a kit well if you purchase an all-inclusive kit you're going to always get another block so this is a i think it's a d um, block and it's pretty standard for uh, most of the stamps that you're going to be using any of the stamps within the kits are going to fit this block and then this is the stamp set that comes let me click let me put this on the back of here this is the stamp set that come uh, comes in your kit so it's got uh, flowers some leaves some little tiny flowers and then you've got five different sentiments some are um, kind of like a print and then the other ones are more of a cursive so we're going to take these contents and make some alternative cards so that's what they're supposed to look like okay and we're going to move this over off to the side now this is what the kit comes with it comes with cards uh, pre-printed like this and these as well okay and then you also have some white strips here for uh, your sentiments and then these strips are for decorations and then it comes with and when i mentioned about the color of the cards you'll have uh, four of each this is the a really soft pale yellow with uh, dots on the front and then this is the other set with the uh, lines and the insides are all white so you don't need to worry about adding a piece to that and then of course it's, it comes with your coordinating envelopes and uh, we're going to use some of these envelopes we're going to destruct one of those as well so that's the kits that come in into that the contents that come in the kit and i'm going to show you now what we're going to do by making some alternative cards using these supplies all right so give me just a second let me move this out of the way and we're going to start i'm going to start out with one that's going to be very simple so now I'm going to be using some Knight of Navy, which is one is the coordinating color that goes with the ink. So we're going to be using Knight of Navy uh, ink um, cardstock, and this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And this is one of those cards that uh, came in the card. Now I'm we can stamp this flower if you like with the Knight of Navy, and here is the stamp. So we can outline that, and I think we'll do that. I didn't do it on this one. But let's do it on this one. Let me get it lined up. So you'll look at your stamp and just find where the uh, petals line up. And it's you just kind of sometimes need to turn it just a little bit. And I think this right here, uh, nope, that's not going to work. So you're just going to, you have to just take a minute and play with it. And once you get it, that's not going to work either. Is it? Hang on a minute. All right, so this one's got the two, so that's going to go just like that. So see the two lines, you probably can't see them. 
two lines there and two lines inside the leaf and they're going to the right and you'll see it's going to coordinate with this one and this one has three and that has three so that's going to work so that's going to go just like that so we'll go ahead and stamp those and then we're going to just make this is a very simple card and then we're going to use some of our embellishments which are the 2023 and to 25 color dots so we'll use some of those to add some coordination as well all right so let's ink up our stamp our flower and then we're going to take this and again we're going to make sure that we have got our image lined up with our uh, stamp with our image on the cardstock and I'm just going to hover over for just a minute and hopefully got it straight and we're just going to push down like that and then we've added a little color and if you go off a little bit it's fine no one's going to notice the difference all right now this one we're going to turn it because you'll see that this one here looks like it's going to fit this one all right so again we're going to hover and I'm going to come down got to hover a little bit more hang on a second all right so we're going to come down I don't get too concerned about this because if it's off a little bit no one's really going to be paying attention all right there you go and there's that one as well all right so then we're going to take um, and fold our cardstock and again this is four and a half by five and a half I'm sorry five and a half by uh, eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter which is in half so you can score it using your paper trimmer that we have which has a scoring tool or you can fold it in half just like what I'm doing sometimes I use my paper trimmer to score it and sometimes I don't and then use your bone folder to give it a nice crease on both sides of your card all right and then with that we're going to take and we're going to stamp our sentiment on here before we add our dimensionals so let's get uh, let's get that. I thought I had a piece of white in here. Hang on, hang on a second. Let me see what I did with him. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Nope, I don't. Okay. Um, that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment and I'm going to use nobody gets me like you do. So we'll go ahead and ink this up. And if you're wondering why I always put my, my stamps on crooked because it forces me to look to make sure they're straight. And then I'm just going to stamp it right here in the bottom right hand corner. All right, and then I'm gonna set this out of the way. We're gonna keep using that glue, so I'm not gonna put it up. Now I'm gonna just take some of these um, strips of dimensionals, and we're gonna add these to our card. So we'll just put one long strip on each side, and then we'll cut the other ones for the top and the bottom. We'll just cut those down in half, or tear it. You can tear it probably, but I'll just cut it. And that will pop it up and give us some dimension. So we'll lay this one here and we'll put this one down here okay so we're just going to pop these up this is a very easy card that we're making right now i just wanted to start out showing you some easy steps and then we'll get a little bit more advanced i'm going to do show you four different cards but right now you can get this kit um, on sale so you can go to my um, shopping store it's uh, bitly bit.ly and then forward slash 3ku and then you'll be a capital H capital T capital A capital G and that will take you right to my stamping store and it will be listed in the comment section or in right below the video okay so we're going to put that in the center of our card and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add some embellishments so since we've got some gold on here we'll just use some of the gold or yellow if you will and i'm just going to place uh three they always say you should do your embellishments in three so i'm going to take and put uh i'll put a large one up here I'll do it a little bit different and then I'll take a medium one and we'll place that um, I'll place that right about here and then we'll place a little one the little baby one and you can be you, you can use your take your pick tool which is what I should be using and then we'll take a piece of uh, cardstock it's basic white it's four by five and a quarter and we're gonna put that right on the inside and then what we can also do is take our stamp our flower and we'll stamp that in the bottom right hand corner just to decorate the inside of our card and then you can also stamp your uh, envelope if you decide you want to do that and I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue to attach this to the inside of the card 
so I can write my message when I get ready to send this out. All right, so this will be our first card. So let's get that in here. And this is just, this is really a nice kit. All right, so there's our first alternative card. All right, so we're gonna set these off to the side. I'm gonna move this one over here. Now the next one, we're gonna do a little bit different here. We're gonna uh, deconstruct this one. All right, so this is what we're gonna do here. Now I've taken these um, panels, this right here, which is a larger, and, well it's this size actually, and we're gonna lay that on there and see how I stamped. So we'll stamp the um, this um, outline of the flowers. We're gonna tie some of our twine and attach a thing. Now this is where we're gonna cut off our envelope. So we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer. So I'm gonna set this off to the side so that you can uh, see, partially see the card. And let me move that. So let's bring in the paper trimmer and we're gonna cut the envelope and we're gonna cut right along the um, line right here where this is, right there, right on the edge of that of the green. So we want that as part. So we're just gonna line this up in our paper trimmer and it should be pretty close. So we're gonna cut that off, all right? Now what I'm going to do, and you can see we've got little tabs here. So we're just gonna trim those with our uh, paper snips. We'll just trim them off, no big deal. Snip them and this will be snipped. And then we're gonna take, let me move this out of the way. And then we're gonna take our envelope and we are going to open this up. Actually, I'm gonna trim off, I think that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna trim off enough to where it's gonna open. So see how the, and I'll use my, my paper snips. See how, uh, here's my track, and then it goes like this at an angle. So I'm gonna move it over just enough where I can get this to cut, and I think that's good. And then we're gonna open this up, and then we'll use part of that for our next card. And let me get this off, because I didn't push it down hard enough with my paper trimmer. All right, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. We just want enough that we can get past that cut. All right, so there we have that. And then we're gonna take this and we're going to, and you don't wanna throw anything away because you'll be able to use it, right? So I'm going to cut right here in the, where the score line is. So we're gonna use almost all of our supplies in a different way. All right, so I can see my score line. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut there. And then this we can use for one of the insides of our cards, and I'm gonna trim that up in just a minute. And then you can just come back with your paper trimmer uh, or your snips. I'm just gonna use my snips on this one. I'm gonna cut this off right here, and the same with this one. And this is gonna go on the inside of our card. And this can, you can take this off if you want. I'm gonna leave it, it doesn't bother me. Okay, so that's gonna go on the inside of our card. All right, and then this one we'll use for an inside if needed. Okay, so again, we're gonna come in with our uh, Knight of Navy cardstock. And again, these are all the same size, eight and a half by um, five and a half. So half, oh, I've already got this scored. So again, we'll score this at four and a quarter, which I already did. So there's my crease. So I'm gonna fold my cardstock over and I wanna make sure, and it's kinda of hard when you're using the darker cardstock, but I wanna make sure it's lined up even on both sides. Sometimes you might need to manipulate it just a little bit. And then again, use your bone folder and do a nice crisp crease, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna start out with, let me move this over here. We're gonna start out with this being in the front of the front of my card. So I'm gonna come in with this and I'm actually going to trim this off just a little bit to make it even. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is the, our flap so of our envelope. Now I need to cut this down just a little bit. So we'll bring the paper trimmer in and I'm just gonna cut it down to um, right, I'm gonna probably do a little bit here on each side because I'm gonna get my cutter up there. Because I wanna get it even. All right, so we're gonna make that more of a square and we'll do the same thing on this one. So we just wanna bring it over just enough where we can get in there and cut that so it has more of a straight line, but it's still rounded at the top, okay? All right, so there's that. All right, so now we're gonna take and we're just gonna apply this right here, okay? 
So we're gonna we're going to now this one. I'm not going to pop it up. I'm just going to use my adhesive because we're going to pop this part of the card up. All right. So let's go ahead and add our adhesive here. Actually, you could lick that or wet it with a with a um, water painter, and you'd already have glue right there. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So we're going to place this right near the edge and get it centered. All right. And now this card, this one we're going to, we're going to stamp our images again. I'm going to bring in a scrap paper, of grid, uh, grid paper, so if I stamp off, I don't get it all over my thing and it looks messy. All right, so let's take our uh, stamp and we're going to ink it up again with our Knight of Navy. And again, I'm going to line up my, my uh, stamp to make sure that I am in the right. Let's see, this one is three. All right, give me one minute because I've got that one's three, this one. So it might go like, yeah, I think it's going to go just like this. Because so I can see my two here, um, well, three there, and I've got three here, two little ones, and so on. So I think that should go fine. I'm going to stand up so that I can hover. And let's make sure you got to do a little twisty and get it close to where you think you're close enough and we'll pop it down and I can see it I'm off a little bit over here but that's okay all right and then we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing we're going to match this up make sure that works and um, let me take a piece hold on a second we're going to cover this so we don't get ink on part of the card that we don't want and we'll do, let's see, we want these. This one has the three. I'm trying to find the right ones. I know. Uh, let's see, I think it's this one. All right, and that's going to go right about there. So we're going to hover on that and stamp that down. Okay. And then the last one is this little leaf right here. And you don't need to stamp them if you don't want to, but we'll just place that on here. And we'll find that little stamp that's got the two that are kind of next to each other, which is probably this one. And we'll stamp that right there, okay? All right, so there's that one. Let's move our uh, ink out of the way. Okay, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna add our strips again to this guy so let's go ahead and bring two more in and we'll just cut them because these are going to be a lot longer than what we need so we'll put these on both sides and i'll trim off the bottom or you can tear them i just find it easier to trim them and then i'm going to use these because why waste them right so we'll just put some down here okay and then i'll come back in with another strip and we'll place one right here. And this might be overkill. You probably could get away with just using the um, the two side ones. But, you know, why not? We'll just do it. And we'll just turn that one off and we'll keep him to use for something later. All right, so we're going to now bring this guy in. And we're going to go ahead and pop it up on here. So I'm going to pull off all of my paper. See, this is really, you can make um, a lot of cards. When you when you start doing uh, using the materials and thinking outside the box, then you can come up and um, be very creative and make multiple cards. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to place this probably right about there. Okay, so we're going to place that there. And then I'm going to come in with my ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow. And I'm going to make a larger bow because we want it to go underneath our sentiment so what i'm going to do and you tie your bows whatever so i just kind of start out this way and make them and then i make them a little bit larger and just keep pulling until i get them to the right size that i want so we'll just pull this together well, if i can get to the string right all right so i'm going to pull that in some pull this in let's see how we look pull this one in a little bit more and i think by the time we do that, let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's get this one bigger. I think that'll be fine. So let's cut that off right there. Pull this one in just a tad. Hold your center uh, dot knot, if you will, when you're pulling. That will tighten it up, okay? 
All right, now we're gonna take our banner and we're gonna stamp our sentiment. And this one we're gonna stamp Forever Friends. And let me find that one. And it must be this one right here. So again, we're gonna ink it up. We're gonna use one of the banners that they supply in our kit. So we'll stamp that right about there. All right, don't you love that? I love this font. All right, and we're gonna pop this up as well. Now we're also going to, um, I, you know, I forgot that it does come with the kit. If I'm not mistaken, it comes with glue dots and I forgot to show you those because I think I used them all up on, when I was making this. So I'm just gonna use one of my glue dots. So I am going to um, place my bow. Uh, let me get that over here. I'm gonna get my bow the way I want it to look. And I'm gonna place that probably right about here. And I'm just gonna put a little glue dot right there just to hold it in place, right where the knot is. And then I'm gonna take our sentiment and I'm gonna add another piece of the strip. So we'll just tear that one off. And we're gonna pop this one up. Okay, and then we'll attach this to the front of our card. And we're gonna be forever friends. So I'm gonna place that right there. All right, so that's gonna go right there. Whoops, let me make sure. That looks a little crooked. Hang on a minute, let me move it up. Okay, and we can add an embellishment if we'd like. So let's take a small, uh, let's see, what colors do we have? Let's take a small, um, let's take a little small blue one. And we'll just add a little blue one right up here in the corner. We'll put one there and let's do, <laughs> and we'll take a, let's do a medium size one and we'll just place one. Uh, let's just put one over here and then we'll put another, I'm gonna just do the same size and I'm gonna put that one right there. All right, so there are there's our other second alternative card. Isn't that easy? And it's very cute, okay? And then the last thing is we're gonna take that envelope that we cut off, right? So we're gonna take this piece and I'm going to, I'm actually going to bring my trimmer in. Let me just see if I can get this off. Yeah, we got a little fuzzies on it, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to, let's stamp a flower on here. And then we're gonna place this inside our card. So the inside, so you can write your sentiment. So we wanna keep everything all dressed up and then we'll just add our adhesive to the back. And as soon as I can get my heat, there we go. Start getting my heat, it comes out. When it sits for a few minutes, it takes, um, it takes a little time to get it going. I have one on my desk that I use, but this one sits over here, unless I'm doing a live video or something or doing a recording. All right, so let's get some adhesive here. There we go. All right, and then we'll just place that on the inside of the card. So now we've used up our envelope and the top of it. And then this will be the piece that we're gonna put in here. And let's see, I didn't cut that off very well. So let me just trim this real quick. Just the little piece from underneath. All right, and then there is the inside of the card. So you'll have a place to write your message. So there you go. There's our second card, our alternative card. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we'll set that off to the side. Now we'll bring in a different one. So what are the card bases in this set? They come two, right? They have the green one that we showed, that we worked with just now, and then they have this really nice yellow with some polka dots on the front of the card. So what we're going to do, we're gonna dissect this as well. So let me bring in the paper trimmer. Now we're gonna cut this off, and we're gonna use this on our card, not this card, but we'll use it on our next card. So I'm gonna lay this in the paper trimmer at four and a quarter, and I'm going to cut this down. All right, and we're gonna set that off to the side because we're gonna use that for our next card. All right, now this one we're gonna take, and this is four and, uh, four and a quarter, right? So we wanna cut this in half, which is gonna be two and an eighth. So we're gonna mark it right there. Didn't know you're gonna to have to know math here and uh, doing crafting, did you? You sure do. All right, so we're gonna cut it at two and an eighth. So that's, oops, sorry. 
that's going to give us one that we're going to use on this card and then one that we'll have to use to make another card so i'm going to set that off to the side so this goes with our um our card base right here and then we are going to oh i forgot before we go further we're going to take our card base um which we're going to fold again we're going to fold it at four uh score it at four and four uh, four and a quarter sorry i'm losing my tra uh, train of thought here <laughs> all right so we're going to take our let me get my notes because i wrote down what my measurements are and now i can't find them hang on there they are all right so this one we are going to cut uh down to seven and a half all right so this is eight and a half so we're going to cut and in we're going to cut uh, down to seven and a half here okay so we're going to oops yeah that'll work we'll cut seven and a half so cut that off and you're going to keep this because we're going to use this all right so now we're going to fold our cardstock again and we'll give it a good crease with our bone folder in just a moment this piece we want to keep because we're going to use that this one we've already cut so that's going to go in this pile right here now we're going to cut this envelope and we are going to um cut let me think of how i'm doing this here uh let's see we're going to cut this off uh oh let's see half the dotted yeah i got that cut the nah, da, da, da. all right so this one all right so we're going to cut off this here so again we're going to cut this in the middle at uh, where it's scored and then we're going to take and we're going to cut um one and three eighths no wait a minute hang on let me look at this yeah one and no let's see what do we have here yes one and three eighths hang on a minute let me let me check my measurements hold on a minute because see this one's going to open i didn't show you the card this is the card we're gonna, that would be helpful wouldn't it so this is the card so we cut that strip off right so we're going to use that strip for something else and then there's the inside so we're going to take and cut this should be three quarters of an inch it is so we're going to do three quarters of an inch there and then this one is one and let's see that's one and a quarter one and three eighths okay so we're going to cut let's do our three quarters um let's do three quarters of an inch actually i could have just left it that way all right so we're going to cut off three quarters and this is at five and a half right because it's our envelope so let's just make sure it's it's cut at five and a half okay and then we're going to cut another piece at one and three eighths so one and three eighths there's one and a quarter then it's going to be the second line past that which is one and three eighths and we're going to cut that and those are the pieces that we're going to use on this particular card and then we're going to save this for something else as well as this so let's set those aside and then we are going to take oh that's right we need no i've got that uh we're going to take the envelope piece that we had left over and we're going to cut this down to two inches and this will be our inside that we can write our message on so we're going to cut this down to two inches okay and then that leaves us another piece that we can use for another card all right so let's go over that one more time we've got our card stock of eight and a half by five and a half we're going to take cut put this in the trimmer and cut off one inch and then we're going to cut a piece of the yellow card base at two and an eighth which is going to go in here i mean go on the front and then we've got three quarters of an inch on this and one and three eighths on this one okay so we're going to go ahead and now put our card together so let's use our bone folder again we want to give it a good crease and now we're just going to start building so we're going to take this piece and we're going to lay this flat from edge to edge all right and if it hangs over just a little bit then just take your paper snips and uh, remove any excess that you see I'm going to pull in my craft mat which is a good tool to have in your crafting room it keeps your adhesive from getting all over the table or whatever it is that you're working on all right so we'll take this and we'll go ahead and add this to the top of our card front and we'll lay it there we'll have just a little bit of the blue showing through not much we'll just give it a little peeky boo all right so let's check that 
and I can tell it's probably I can slide this over just a little bit and I've got a little bit hanging over probably not that big of a deal but I'll bring my snips and just snip that little piece off all right and then the next thing we're going to do is this is the piece that we cut right so we're gonna lay that right there and leave a nice border between the two all right but before we add that we want to do our stamping so on this one we're going to stamp the flower and we're going to do a little bit of stamping off i've got to find my flower here bring in our knight of navy and i'm going to do some flowers um, like in the top right and i'm the bottom right and then top left corner and we'll add some leaves to it so let's stamp um let's see uh, let's do about like that and then this one will come down and we'll do let's see which way do I want it to go it really no way it's however you want it to look and we'll do right here okay so we've got that and now I'm going to take my leaf stamp right here and we're going to color us uh, we're going to color we're going to stamp that in our night of navy and then I'm just going to bring this in and stamp it right near the center of the flower so i'll just put it there and then we'll do the same thing on this one i'll have it coming probably right here so let's do a little like that okay all right so that just kind of dresses up the inside of your card um the outside of the card all right and now we're going to stamp our sentiment that says sending lots of hugs so again we're going to take our navy ink knight of navy and we're going to stamp that right in the center and don't forget when you're using these photopolymer sets the ones that are see-through they don't have any cushion on them like the red rubber ones do so always make sure you're using uh, something cushiony underneath to help to get to make sure it's got that extra cushion to um, give it a good a good press um, if you don't uh, you may not get a clear image. So you can always purchase one of our paper pier um, piercing mats. They're in the, it's, they're in my online store and they're not that expensive. I think they're like maybe, I don't know, $6 or something like that. So I think that's probably a good deal to do unless you have, you know, a cushion um, thing underneath your workstation, then that's fine. Okay, so let me move my glue out of the way. So um, I'm going to put this on here, and then we're going to do a little bit of embellishing. And again, I'm gonna, going to lay this down flat. And I have, um, I was doing a class and cutting uh, one of our twines, and it's got hair lay laying all over the place from the twine. All right, so let me go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this. I'm using the multi-purpose glue. Whoops. And we'll get that on there. I'm trying to squeeze it so it gets it running here. I think my thing is getting low there we go okay so let's get this on I always don't I don't like to get this glue on my fingers it drives me crazy okay so we're just gonna lay this here we're gonna just make sure it goes edge to edge and we're just gonna give it a little bit of space between the two it doesn't have to be exact just make sure it's straight all right so there's the front of our card okay and then we're gonna take our uh, white piece that we cut and we're gonna add that to the inside. And I'm going to stamp, uh, let's see. No, I'm always here. Oops, I forgot to bring that one in, didn't I? Hold on, I got my stamp set. What did I do with it? I gotta grab my other stamp. Wasn't thinking. Hold up, hold up. I'm always here for you. So we'll stamp, we'll uh, put that one on here. So we'll put that there. Let's put this back over here, whoops. All right, so let's grab We'll take this one off for a minute and use this block. So let's take that off. Sorry about that. I should have been a little bit better prepared for this. I'm gonna put him right like that. All right, so we are going to stamp this into in the center. And again, I'm using my Knight of Navy. It's off camera, but it's right there. You just wanna lightly tap, tap, tap to get enough ink. And the, the photopolymer, you can see when you've got enough ink on it, right? So I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna stamp that. Make sure I got enough ink again. 
Huffing on it just re-moistens the ink and I'm just gonna stamp it right in the center. You can stamp it at the top if it makes it easier for you to write your message, that's fine too. All right, so now we're gonna attach this to the inside of the card. But before I do that, I'm gonna put this guy at the bottom. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit um, showing and then we'll add that. This way, this guy's already on here. We've got him in position and then we can add the uh, piece of white. Now keep in mind that piece of white's from one of the um, envelopes, right? So again, we're using up everything we can in this kit. All right, so let's go ahead and lay this here. Again, edge to edge. I'm just leaving like maybe a quarter of an inch or an eighth. It's not, it's not much, you know. So we wanna get that there. All right, and then this, we'll go ahead and add our ink um, glue to this as well. Back on. I think it's got glue. It just decides it doesn't want to come out. It's operator, I'm sure. And let's let's move some of that down because we don't want to get too much glue and it gets all over everywhere. All right. So we'll take that and we're going to place that right here where there's just a small gap between this. Well, actually, this one's not going to go side to side. So this one's a little shorter, but that's all right. That's fine. And we're going to do it like that. And that's all glued down and there you go now the last thing we want to do is we're going to add some little embellishments to the flowers so again since we're using let me get my bone folder since we put this on here we just want to um, give it another good crease let's put uh, we're using up a lot of the gold now you can put another color if you want we can do the red let's see what that might look like um, the yellow is probably going to work better because it's um, but yeah, it really doesn't matter. Let's go with red. Let's put a little, um, well, it's, actually it's, um, uh, what color is this? Oh my goodness gracious. It is the, uh, it's not, oh my goodness. It's not the, um, I think it's um, the peak, not pecan. I think it's copper clay, but I think that will look pretty. That gives it a little pop there. Instead of putting yellow, we'll just put those little dots. So there you go. So there's another card that we've created. All right, so we're gonna put those two off to the side. And then we're coming in with our last card, which I'll show you that one first. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? All right, let's move this out of the way. Okay, so here is our next card. And this is using that card front that we cut off from the previous card, remember? So, and then inside our kit, we have the strip here and then this for our sentiment. So we're gonna stamp uh, some flowers on here and then we're just gonna pull that, we're gonna use one of our water painters or our blender, blending, um, blending pen. And we're just gonna pull that uh, ink in so that actually, um, yeah, I think, I think this one will work. All right, so that's gonna be the front of the card. And then on the inside, we just put a piece of white. And again, this is part of one of the envelopes that we cut off. And we'll just add that there and again, stamped a flower on the inside. So again, very simple card. So let's bring in our card base and we've got it already scored at four and a quarter. Now this one is a little uh, not quite uh, going from top to you know each side, but if I flip it the other way, it actually does. So again, we'll come in with our bone folder and give it a good crease, okay? All right, so now, and you can change the direction. If you want your card to be this you know, horizontal, by all means, you can do that. And this is gonna be quite close to it covering the base of your card, okay? The, um, and if you want to have it cut down, which I think it will look nicer, let's cut a little bit off. So we just have a very small border around our uh, card front so this is cut at all right so this is four and a quarter so let's go ahead and down and just take it down to the four so we'll make it like we normally do for the front of a card um, we'll put that little piece we could use that probably for something if we wanted and then we're going to bring this down to five and a quarter and that should give us oh let's see let's do five and three eighths let's just see what that looks like and then if we need to cut a little bit more off, we will. Let's see how that looks. So if we place that on here, we've got a small border going at top and bottom. Now we need to cut that because it's not even with the other. So let's cut this down to five and a quarter. 
So we've got five, and there is five and a quarter, so we'll go ahead and cut that one off. That way, all four sides should be evenly cut. All right, so before we attach it, we want to stamp our ink, uh, stamp our flowers, and we're going to do the insides that we're going to color. So we're going to bring this in, and I'm going to bring in my paper again. And let's go ahead and stamp. I'm going to stamp. Now I'm going to determine where I want my piece to go, my strip. And I, want, I think I want it to go right about here. You know, just it's eyeball, whatever you want to do. So I think I'm going to do that. So I think this one, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this flower. Uh, I'm just turning it around so I can get most of the flower on here. So I think I'll stamp this flower right here. And then I know if I come down, I'll just get a little bit of the flower that will be below. But that will be okay, right? So we'll just bring it down because we don't want them looking like they're sitting right on top of each other. So let's bring it down like that. All right, so that is that. Then we'll come in and we'll bring in our leaf. And we'll just add, again, add the leaves to our uh, flower. I just try to find an open spot like right here. Nope, because that's going to be covered up. So we don't want to do that. Sorry about that. So let's say it's going to be right here, right? So um, let's, put, let's put the leaves uh, right about here. All right, and then this one, I think we'll put these. Uh, let's do it right here. And then this one, I'm just going to stamp a little bit of a leaf coming off the side, just to give it something up there so it's not sitting there looking like it's naked. All right, now we're going to take our blending pen, and we're going to grab the center of this glue. Oh, it's not going to work, sorry. I need to get my water my water pen, so hang on a minute. Let me get that one out. Hopefully I've got some water in it. Yep. All right, so we're just going to take the water pencil, and I'm just going to squirt it on the side here just to get it started. We're going to grab that glue and just lightly, all right, there we go. So we're just going to lightly pull this color in so we can get the blue, the ink. So we're going to pull it into the flowers. And just by going over that, it's just going to give us a light color of the blue. And really, we want to take it from the inside out to the flower. And that way, we can kind of hit the ink around those uh, petals. Okay. So we're just going to kind of give it a watercolor look, and we'll do the same thing here. And this is our water painters is what I'm using. So let me uh, get a little bit more water. And you squeeze them, and then it lets the water out. So if you start at the center, then you're, being, you're able to pull that color in to the leaf, okay? And there we go. It's starting to move. And this just kind of gives it a nice little shade. And it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. So we'll just keep going. And once you get it going, then it does pick up and bring some of the other the ink with you. Now I'm not going to do the leaves. I'm just going to leave them the way they are and just do the flowers themselves. So again, this is the water painter. We just want to get a, just a little bit of water on it to bring that blue in. All right, and I think that kind of looks, I think that looks nice. And we'll leave the, um, that we're going to leave the leaves as, as they are, okay? And then when you're done, just run it across your paper, let some of the water out, and make sure you get all the color off your uh, bristles before you store it back away. All right, so that's done. So now all we have to do is we're going to go ahead and add our little piece of uh, strip right here. So we'll go ahead and add our adhesive to the back of this. Now this one's going to lay flat, and we'll... Um, pop up the sentiment with our dimensional strips or foam strips, whatever you want to call them. All right, and then this one, we're going to have it come in from this side of the card. And we'll bring that in. We'll bring it down just a little bit. We don't want to cover up the entire flower. All right, so we're just going to lay that right there. Okay, doke. And then we're going to do our Forever Friends again. So let me get that stamp. And we'll just borrow this block right here. So I'm going to lay it down, and then I'll just put it on here crooked so that I can helps me see. All right, so we're going to stamp that right here. Let it sit for a second, and then pull it up. And we'll put some dimensional. We'll put a strip on the back of this. 
And I think that's going to work. We'll just cut this part off or tear it, whichever is easier for you. All right. Okay. And then we're going to take this and we're just going to bring it down slightly below that green. So we'll just lay it right about there. Okay. All right. And then the next thing that we need to do is add this to the front of our card. Pull our, um, use an art adhesive or you, you can pop it up if you choose to. I'm just going to lay it flat. You just want to be a little a conscious, you know, aware of the mailing because, you know, if it gets too bulky, then you may have to pay a little bit extra postage, but you should be fine. All right, so we're going to add this to the front. And again, we should have a small, about an eighth of an inch border going all the way around. And again, the nice thing about the liquid glue, the multi-purpose liquid glue is it allows you to move it if you need to. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to take our piece from one of the envelopes again and it's the right size. We're going to stamp one more flower on the inside. Again, we want to make everything look pretty. So we're just going to stamp it right about there. Still gives you plenty of room that you can, and we could have left that on that side. I didn't even see that. That's when we cut it off. Um, and that gives you plenty of room to write your message. All right, and that will be good. Put that here and you can stamp it in the left corner or the right corner it doesn't matter whatever whatever um, makes you happy or whatever whichever direction that you like is fine so let me close this up before I put my fingers in it all right so there are our alternative cards there's four of them so you can come up with however many ideas you want to come up with right to make your own cards so you've got a lot of materials in here that you can use and let's push this down so we can get it to lay flat. So there are my four alternative cards. I'll lay that right there. And you can see what you can do compared to what the kit shows you right there. There's how the kit says to do it. And then this is what we did. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Keep uh, in mind that, again, the kits are on sale August of 2023 for this month only up to 30% off. I would highly encourage you to go in there and try them and come back in a couple of days. I'm going to do another video on a different kit. All right. Thanks again. You can visit my online store. It is in the link below the video. Also, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe and um, hit the bell so that when I add new videos you'll be notified of that and then also if you're watching this on facebook make sure you like and subscribe and um, if you will share my videos i'd greatly appreciate it all right everyone thank you so much if i can help you with anything let me know i'm dawn duvall with shall we stamp and i will see you next time bye now